Coraline marks the highly anticipated collaboration between Henry Selleck, director of The Nightmare Before Christmas, and acclaimed author Neil Gaiman. Oh my God. I love Neil Gaiman's stories. He's got an incredible gift with splitting open ordinary existence and finding magic there. <laughs> I remember the joy for me of seeing Nightmare Before Christmas, walking out of there going, why aren't all movies like this? What's fun for me with the movie is I feel like it's Coraline as seen through Henry's world. Coraline is the story of a young girl. Oh, great! The village stalker. Ow! Caroline has a door that is bricked up. Bricks? I don't get it. And one day it's no longer bricked up. It's a hidden passageway that leads to another version of her own house. And waiting for her there is her other mother. And her other mother is a lot like the one that she left, only she has big black buttons for eyes. We've been waiting for you, Coraline. It's the perfect mom that everyone would ever want, who's the perfect cook and has the perfect answer to any question. Was it wonderful, dear? Oh, it was magic. And then she starts to waste away more and more and more and more. She turns out to be a witch, and the whole other world is a spider's web. Everything in the other world is made by the other mother in order to please and then finally ensnare Coraline. You may come out when you've learned to be a loving daughter. Get those 3D glasses ready. Coraline is the first stop-motion animated film created in groundbreaking, eye-popping 3D. 3D captures the complete miniature world that we, the filmmakers, have been aware of but have never really been able to share with our audience. It's not computer-enhanced 3D. It's a real model with real substance and the real sets with the real clothes. This is the real thing and it feels like the real thing. It's the most delightful fantasy and the most terrible fantasy. And this is Alice in Wonderland, this is Where the Wild Things Are, this is Harry Potter, this is Pan's Labyrinth, this is all of those stories. 